Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 16th of January. Is it going to snow tomorrow? I think it will. How much? Well, let's get in there and talk about it. A lot to discuss again today. We'll start with the sky, the sky cam shots around the network. These were captured early this morning at the insane hour of 5 a.m. I mean, who would be awake at that hour of the day? Probably me and you, huh? That's the uh, Birmingham Sky Cam looking right down 20th Street. Still uh, some pretty dense fog. Not as bad as it was last night because we can see some of the traffic lights down there. Uh, the fog is gone at Clanton last night at 10 o'clock. I mean, you could barely see anything, but the fog is cleared out. And uh, no fog up in Walker County at Jasper. All right, everything evolving is expected. You can see the uh, base of the trough over Texas beginning to uh, change into a cutoff low. It'll be passing right on top of us tomorrow, making for a challenging forecast. Temperatures just haven't budged over the course of the last 24 hours. Low 40s around here, but look at Anniston there at 51, and you, you go just south and east of here, and it's balmy. And Auburn at 64, they were in the 70s yesterday, and the sun came out at times. But we'll stay in the cool air. Temperatures may be, may be reaching 50 today uh, for the Birmingham Metro, but I'd say it's doubtful. I, I don't think Birmingham sees 50. Better chance of that just south and east of here. And around the nation, it's still cold. Uh, you can see the, the warm air confined to the far southeast part of the nation. And, man, it's really cold in Canada, uh, 25 below zero or lower. Let's keep an eye on that. Radar this morning, guess what? It's raining in, in spots. <laughs> Is that a surprise? Northwest Alabama, also rain falling uh, down around Auburn and Opelika. And we'll maintain a good chance of periods of rain today. Uh, still a few uh, counties in Tennessee and Mississippi under an ice storm warning. I don't think that thing has really evolved into a major situation. Uh, from uh, near Nashville down to about Oxford, Mississippi. And all the counties in bright green here, those are counties involved with uh, uh, river flood warnings, uh, the Black Warrior and the Tom Bigby, especially in West Alabama. The other counties highlighted in our state, that's a dense fog advisory. Rain for the next five days, eh, about an inch. This is valid through Monday of next week. Snow probabilities, the northern half of Alabama with some chance of snow. This is uh, for the period beginning at uh, 6 a.m. tomorrow. And uh, this is a look at modeling. On the high end, you got the 06Z NAM. This is off BuffKit, by the way. That's a model analysis tool. The 06Z NAM prints three inches for Birmingham. The other models are two inches or less. And we'll let's talk all about that here in specifics. Uh, first off, the modeling. This is the uh, GFS, the Global Forecast System, the 06Z run valid at noon today. There's the upper low just below Dallas-Fort Worth and down below that. Cloudy, wet, cool. No change. I mean, what you had yesterday, you'll have today. Tomorrow, how about that thing going right on top of us? This is noon. The NAM in very good agreement. I mean, those models are dead matched almost with the upper low right on top of Birmingham at high noon. Cold core low, weatherman's woe. You know the deal. You look at the surface with this, there's no really, you know, Arctic air to, to say for, for, for big snows. But what these things do, they generate their own cold air with dynamic cooling, that literally cooling from above. And uh, what happens? We've seen it many times. Uh, uh, temperatures will cool down to freezing, down to 850 millibars. That's at 5,000 feet. The snow begins, and you can have some big snow bursts with these things. Uh, that will surprise you. We don't have a lot of skill in handling the amount of snow with these things and the snow placement, but as the snow comes down, it starts to cool down at the surface, and just everything gets out of whack. There's the surface chart at noon. Surface low is over around Augusta, Georgia, 540 line uh, all over Alabama with that uh, dynamic cooling. And it uh, looks like the main chance of snow is going to be maybe uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, 3, 4, 5 o'clock until uh, maybe noon or 1 o'clock, something like that. This is the snow accumulation coming off the NAM, and uh, it's got the better chance of accumulating snow uh, over the northern and eastern counties of the state with little accumulation over on the uh, western side. 
the GFS has a larger area of snow. Uh, but again, the, the agreement is getting pretty good and that no doubt we are going to have snow tomorrow and no doubt there's a good chance it will accumulate in spots. Uh, we're looking at something like this. Uh, for most of north central Alabama, an inch or less. And again, when we're looking at the accumulation, we think it will be mostly on grass. The roads should be just wet. We honestly don't expect any major travel problems. One to two inches on grassy areas for northeast Alabama, uh, especially the high terrain. Uh, you know, you know, you know the suspect areas, uh, uh, Lookout Mountain, uh, Chihaw, places like that. But, you know, having said that, understand uh, we, we've had similar, you know, upper features like this that produced, a, you know, six, seven, eight inches of snow where you like the, the January 97 thing all, or the uh, December 97 thing, December 14th, 1997 always kind of haunts us. But I'm, I'm almost willing to bet somebody in that zone is going to have more than what we've got on that map. But we just don't have the skill to identify that. We just have to wait for it to line up. So, that yes, a very good chance it's going to snow tomorrow. Yes, a good chance of accumulation, but mostly on grass and probably not all that much. The ground is kind of warm with no high impact, no travel issues. But, again, you know our word of caution. We're not that good at handling these things. So as it begins to start tomorrow, just watch for changes. All right, Friday. Hey, how about some sunshine? Come on now. A, a decent chance we see 50. Now, if we do have a little snow in the grass, we'll be in the 20s Friday morning and uh, be pretty cold. In terms of travel Friday morning, I think m most of the moisture should evaporate off the roads. But if there's any leftover moisture, there could be a few icy spots Friday morning. Keep that in mind. Saturday, sunny day to start the weekend and a good chance we see low to mid 50s. And again, we should start the day below freezing. Uh, there's a look at Sunday. Same thing. It should be a sunny day with highs in the 50s. Uh, now, Monday, uh, we got a 1038 high. The, the GFS is not as cold on this run. With cold air advection beginning, highs will drop in the 40s. And on Tuesday, the, the GFS is just not as cold as it has been. Uh, that would be a, a, a cold, dry day with highs in the 40s, but not in the 30s like we have in our forecast. But the European continues to be colder. And uh, that is the model of choice in the medium range, and that is the model we're using. And we're suggesting highs on Tuesday will drop into the upper 30s. And there's Wednesday. And again, the GFS is not that cold, but if the European is right and other runs of the GFS are right, we'll be in the teens. I do think it will be the coldest air so far this season. It will be dry. There's no chance of snow. All right, uh, let's look a little longer. Look at this. Here's another shot of cold air coming in here. This is uh, the 25th of the month. Looks like the latter part of January could be pretty cold, and we'll have to watch for any Gulf Coast runners underneath that cold air. We've seen evidence of that from time to time. We'll go out there to the end of the forecast. This is the 31st of January, end of the month. Warm ridge over Cuba and the Bahamas. Uh, strong polar jet around here. And again, it's, you just get the idea. There's going to be the door open for mischief. I, I would be shocked if we get through January uh, without another snow threat. Now, I'm not talking tomorrow, but another one. So... Looks like some fun days in the weather office. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. And if you can, watch us on ABC 3340 News on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Who's got time to listen to boring radio shows? If you're going to listen to something, listen to something good like Eavesdrop. My favorite thing about Christmas it's not the presents. No. And it's not the million no. Christmas parties. And it's not playing Dirty Santa. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's it's about relationships. relationships. I know. I know exactly where you're going it, with that. Yeah. It, it just is. It is. And take the time. What if this is your last Christmas yeah. and you never know? Just talking it up. They may use the name Jesus in a terrible way when they hit their thumb with a, you know, <laughs> with, a, with a hammer by accident on right. Saturday afternoon when they're working on their car. But don't bring Jesus into a song and give him a beer. That ain't right. Hey, I know a few <laughs> of those folks myself. Bama Talk Show. But before we head for the Dome, we got business to take care of at home. So making plans for the throwdown in downtown Atlanta, we'll have to wait until that post-game rammer jammer rings in the postseason for Bama and the offseason for the barn. Auburn unleashed. That magical score that, that Auburn fans remember, 17-16, came out of that game. And Bill Newton was responsible for the, for the chant.
punt by my punt. Bill, thank you for joining us. Uh, good afternoon, Adam. I appreciate y'all having me as uh, the first guest on your show. Worldview matters. And, you know, we've been talking about a number of things last year couple of times we talked about socialism we moved from islam to socialism and we were going to continue today to do the same thing but a lot of things have happened in the world in the past 10 days uh, oh, heated yeah. up again in, in in israel so i thought it'd be a good uh, chance for us to talk about some of the things that relate to worldview as it relates to the israeli situation and egypt and all that's going on in the middle east high school heroes and the plane goes right through the bl- bridge and doesn't catch on fire. It's tons of stuff, man. Uh, tons of unrealistic stuff, but hey, it was really cool, actually. Warning, any of these shows can be addictive, and they are all fun. Listen on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.